Hello, viewers. What you are about to watch is the shortest and yet most comprehensive and logical video on one of the biggest question marks facing the megalithic community. What are these nubs for? We see them in Egypt, and in Peru, and other megalithic locations. But what are they for? And how can it be global? Lots of questions. Well, it's very simple, and I'll get right to it. A nub is the tool mark that was left behind after that softened stone had to be steered into its perfect fit by a sonic control stick, sometimes one on each side and sometimes just on one side, pulling and steering the stone downward, but mostly the stone would settle in on its own. Perfectly fitted granite stonework is a lost technique that was global and is only very recently being figured out. Once you have finished this quick video, please see my previous video, The Softening of Granite. The link is included in the description below and I will be doing more videos on various megalithic tools this year. This video is about the tool that leaves this mark. Yes, it's possible to temporarily alter the physical characteristics of granite into a carvable lightweight material similar to a flexible styrofoam block, large, lightweight, and workable, and yet, once re-exposed to gravity, it's getting heavier and harder again by the minute. The sonic control sticks use a vacuum to attach to and pull on the softened stone, while also applying a sonic tone to settle the stone and extend the softened state of the granite just a little longer. If a stone is hardening too quickly and isn't fitting into its shape perfectly, the worker will attach a sonic control stick at one of the lowest points, apply a variable vacuum, and pull the stone, vibrate the stone, into place. This can be done from either side in a combined effort to achieve the perfectly aligned fit before the stone hardens beyond its shapeable and steerable stage. If you have worked with concrete, then you have seen a vibrating wand used in a similar sonic way to get the concrete to move deeper into the forms and to remove air pockets, creating a perfect fit. The same principles apply with this long lost art form. The hardening granite can then be troweled and edged a little bit further before it hardens fully. And even after the granite hardens fully, the nub can be cleaned off using a sonic scoop, if that is desired but most of the time it was about the fit and the nubs were not a concern. Sonic scoops are the finishing tool, but are also a quarrying tool. I'll get to that in detail and other ancient tools individually in my next videos. Sonic and quartz manipulating tools were used to cut, temporarily soften, move, and finish the various types of quartz rich stoneworks. So where are these tools now? We have to ask that question. Where are these control sticks and scoops and zero gravity boxes and various other ancient tools? Well, the answer is simple. Step outside your own house, look around. Do you see the cement mixer that was used to make your foundation? No. The contractors took it with them. Is there a rusty backhoe left there at the edge of the woods? No. How about the nail guns and the chop saws? No. I think you see my point. The tools that were used to make your house or the building that you work in or even the highway that you drive on to get to work were not left behind. Saxa Huayman, Giza, and Baalbek and other ancient stoneworks are no different, except they were created by a totally different selection of tools and technology, and those ancient builders didn't leave their tools behind either. If you were a fox stepping from the woods and looking up at several strange spinning trees, you'd have to think that the humans are aliens and that they have magic that is far beyond even the most creative of foxy imaginations. But we're not aliens and we don't have any magic. As for many thousands of years ago, we did have a role in the construction of every megalithic ancient site, yet we have absolutely no written history nor even a memory of it. Why is that? Well, I am not a cataclysm theorist, meaning I do not believe that the Ice Age ended because of meteors. No, I believe it was a more horrific global event that was focused singularly on humans. 
an intentional apocalyptic reset to bump us back to a new starting point. I published this booklet in 2022. Origins of Mankind can be found easily on Amazon. This is my perspective on why we are so different from all the other animals and why we don't have a clue as to what actually happened 13,000 years ago. I hope that you'll order a copy. And thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and share if you can so that I may continue publishing these intriguing megalithic perspectives. And remember, always keep an open mind.